Hello everyone, I am Lisa Boardwine and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to chat with you about some of the tools and supports that I use when I'm doing my oil and cold wax painting. The supports that I use to paint on are cradle panels in which we use blue tape or artist tape, which also comes in white, uh, to tape your edges. We can use gesso board, encaustic board, clay board, and these can be flat boards as well. Arches oil paper, which comes in pads, sheets, and rolls. Multimedia art board, and also there's a paper called Terra Skin that is a paper made from stone, which is very fun and interesting to work on. We use a lot of wet wipes and paper towels. Uh, the cold wax that uh, is available for us to use are Gamblin or Dorland's cold wax. Several solvents, Gamsol, Citrusol, Galkid Gel, Galkid Light are all solvents that we use to do different techniques as well as using the Gamsol for cleanup. We use any kind of soft silicone edge tools to push and pull the paint, creative catalyst, and color shapers make very nice tools to work with. And my favorite is the Messermeister scraper or squeegee. Also use a lot of different palette knives, pottery or sculptural tools, bamboo skewers, A lot of brayers are used in oil and coal wax. Soft brayers, hard brayers, foam brayers. Also brayers that have pattern already cut into them. And these you can also make and design your own patterns. I also like to use the R&F oil pigment sticks. These are oil paint already mixed with wax. They're very creamy, soft, and luscious, and a wonderful addition to your oil paintings. The different brands of oil paint that I use are Gamblin, Charvin, Michael Harding, Williamsburg, Sennelier, Old Holland, Daniel Smith, and there are a lot of different brands of paint for you to try and find your favorite. Um, in another video, we will chat about different mark making tools, stamps, stencils, collage paper, a lot of different things that you can also add into your oil and cold wax paintings to make very interesting texture. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for further videos on paint with me um, videos, some exhibition videos, and a glimpse into my studio when I'm painting, as well as some fun tips on techniques and products. Have a great day, and thanks everyone.